dudes. Yeah. Good, no, good afternoon. Yeah. Hope you're all uh, having a nice week. We are back with the V. Yeah. V was away, where were you? Back in Lithuania? Uh, no, I was back in Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> Lithuania, yeah, it was yeah. super cold. Though. You went back to see your missus, spent yeah, some years spent with some her. time with my family. That was yeah. nice. Today we are in a very, very nice BMW E46 M3. Once again, gotta got stop saying that line, yeah. but if you want to check it out, type in Drift Street yeah, Imports into, into Google, Google and you'll soon find Sean's website. So yeah, Sean's very kindly giving us the keys to this wonderful E46 BMW M3. Uh, it's a 2002, it's the last of the naturally aspirated straight sixes. From the factory, these came with 338 horsepower. This one's probably running about sort of 350, 360. It's got some pretty nice sort of trick, trick mods on it. It's running a, um, a BMW CSL carbon fiber intake, which is probably about, God knows, 1500 quid to two grand from factory. It's running a CSL DME um, engine map, so yeah, it gives it a few more ponies. Uh, it's running fully adjustable coilovers. I'm not sure what actually brand they were. Sean did tell me yesterday, but I've forgotten. Um, they are really, really nice to drive. I think they're quite expensive, so hopefully we'll find out by the end of the day and update you. Brakes-wise, it's running a full stop tech big brake conversion up front, so it's got these pretty, pretty chunky calibers and pretty big discs. Uh, the stop brakes on these, from what I can remember, were pretty decent, but yeah, it's always nice to have a, an upgraded brake just to make sure you stop in time. It's got some sort of like radar detector installed in it, because every time we get to a speed camera, it warns us. Which is quite helpful. Yeah, good, well, for, good for John. Yeah, but we're not going like above the speed limit. Nah, we never do, man. Yeah. John does. These E46 have become really, really popular now. Um, obviously, the E90, the newer M3, that came with a V8 engine, which was a completely different animal. A lot of purists sort of weren't keen on the car. I yeah. quite like them, and I've driven a few of the V8 ones. I do, they do sort of feel quite front heavy, I would say, but um, they do they do drive nice and they make a great sound. But yeah, you know, I guess if you're sort of a true sort of BMW enthusiast, you'd, you'd rather have the straight six. Wise, it's got part full BMW uh, main dealer service history and part independent. Three owners from new, which is actually quite rare for a car that's now, what's this, 2002, so it's 14 years old. Yeah. To have only three owners in 14 years is quite quite rare. A lot of these M3s have massive, massive amounts of owners on them. 
Um, so yeah, that's quite reassuring. It's only had a only had a few owners. These do make really really nice um, chassis to drift in. Obviously, this one's a bit too clean to turn into a drift car, but there are a few M3 E46 out there, and they do make pretty pretty yeah. capable drift cars, yeah, especially cool. when they've got like a, a 2J in them. Yeah, but <laughs> right. the thing is with this, you yeah, the, the, yeah they, they run massive power, yeah. especially Formula Drift. I think there is a couple Tur of them. a couple of turbocharged ones. Isn't yeah, it? Chelsea Denofa and yeah. Crystal Splash. I He's think. still got S54, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, he doesn't. No, no, he's running a V8. Oh, it's V8. Yeah, yeah but Chelsea Ooh. Denofa is running a S54. Yeah. yeah. And a couple of all stars drivers as well. They're quite a popular thing in Europe. Yeah, they're, they're great chassis as yeah. well, man. going to go down a path where I take my quad bike. Um, in the UK we have these legal byways, they're called green lanes. As long as you've got MOT and tax and the car's legal to drive, you can actually drive down the green lanes. Half the time we get dog walkers down there sort of shouting at us, but they don't actually realise we're allowed down there. Yeah, we're now currently going down a green lane. <laughs> Sean's like, you took my car off road! <laughs> yeah, we're not actually off road, this is all tarmac this bit, so, um, so yeah, yeah, it's not bad for the car. Yeah, we're going to cruise down here, find a nice photo location I'm gonna let the big V perform his magic art and uh, yeah let's get to smell some fresh air and get some nice scenery this is where I normally come out on my quad bike and I nearly actually died down here once <laughs> this is Devil's Punch Bowl quite a famous sort of place in Surrey um, the motorway we, we just came on actually used to run up this used to be the motorway here you see that yeah I don't know if you can make it out on the camera that actually yeah, you used to be the old, that used to be the old motorway um, yeah, what the A3 used to do, it used to go from three lanes into one and it used to have a lot of congestion in this area because obviously it went from three lanes to one and on a Friday when you had loads of traffic it was just like an absolute nightmare, you couldn't move. So yeah, what they did was they built something called the Hindhead Tunnel which was like a, um, like a, what do you call that, like a, a diversion underneath, yeah. it went through the hill as opposed to sort of round yeah, the hill. It, yeah. yeah. And then they turned this all into like a, a nature reserve so now it's beautiful and we can come and enjoy it. That is a pretty intense view. It goes for miles around. It's a little bit misty today, so you can't see a huge amount. But yeah, this is a, a really beautiful place. I love coming here in the summer. There's a nice little log down there, which I quite often go and sit on by myself and be a loner. <laughs> Chat to myself a little bit. What are you saying, bro? No, nothing. Getting some sexual shots as always, nom nom. What I think is really nice about this M3 is the fact it's still got the original uh, stock. Well, it's got the upgraded 18 inch wheels. You can either get them with a 17 inch wheel from factory or the 18 inch upgrade, which is what these are. But the car still looks stock. 
Um, it's a little bit lower if you look at the arch gap. They're not, they don't normally sit as, as low as this. It's not super, super low though. We've come over a few speed bumps on the way here and didn't have any problems. But yeah, it's just nice that the guys sort of left the car stock. Um, you can't sort of tell what sort of mods it's got. And then yeah, with the, with the CSL intake and the, uh, and the remap and the coilovers, it really does sort of make a, a lovely car to drive. A massive thanks to um, all the new patrons we got. I did a little speech in my last video and we got about 20 extra patrons here. Massive thanks to everyone that's come aboard. I really wish you guys knew how important you were. Like I was saying last time, the money that I make through YouTube revenue literally covers Ville's wages minus about 200 quid. Um, so yeah, what we make every month is minus 200 pounds at the moment so you can probably tell i still need to sell a few cars just to sort of stay alive but hopefully over time as we get more patrons and get a bit more youtube revenue we can concentrate more on the youtube stuff got a beagle on board oh hello oh, you are gorgeous aren't you oh i love beagles man they're beautiful such good dogs oh, what's his name sully sully hi sully you're gonna be on youtube later sully Hi. nice to meet you if you look at the arches they do bubble out quite a bit if you look at the profile down the side of the car, they are quite chunky, which was unique to the unique to the M3. Quick walk around the side. The paintwork's actually very, very clean on this, and I've noticed there's no rust. I know these do suffer a little bit with rust on the on the arches, and this one hasn't got any, which is which is nice. You've got the quad tailpipes down below, which is like the iconic iconic M3 rear end, which looks nice. Cheeky little LED LED rear lights, which were standard. Quick look inside. It's got the light grey interior, which kind of suits the car. Looks nice with the silver exterior. These are all the clocks. You can see you've got the little colours there at the top of the um, top of the rev range just sort of indicate when you need to change gear and stop giving it death. We've got a multi-function steering wheel with cruise control. That's the satellite navigation and CD player. And you've got all the sort of climate controls down there. It's non-smoked in this car. You can see from the ashtray it's never been smoked in, which is nice. Another way of telling is if you look at the roof lining to see if there's any sort of stains or nicotine stains, but it's nice and nice and clean. Um, down here you've got the buttons for, that's to disengage the traction control, that's the um, run flat indicator, that's for the electric blind, so you just press that. And you'll see the blind goes down, it's quite cool. And then that one there is just to put it into sport mode. But yeah, I mean the interior is really clean, considering it's done 100,000 miles, it's been kept in a nice condition. M3 rear windows don't open like conventional windows, obviously most rear windows go down. This is a coupe and the windows actually go out like that, which I will demonstrate now, so just press this button. You can see it just opening there, which is quite cool. A little bit different for the time and it gives the uh, gives the rear passengers a bit of air when you're going sideways. You've also got a little bit of uh, rear legroom too. So yeah, I wouldn't say you could drive to the south of France with four people. You could certainly fit a couple of people in here and go on a short journey. So it's relatively practical. Overall, it's a pretty, pretty cool car, this. Digging it. Wish I had one. Sounds, sounds very fruity.